I got delayed uploading a new video because I was playing around with Krita for a couple of days. It's a free painting program with photo editing capability and I think it's absolutely marvelous with lots of useful features, more than enough for me. Although it can be frustrating at first because you're not used to where everything is and there are new shortcuts to learn. There's a link in the description so definitely check it out. I'm going to drag the file I downloaded from Unsplash. It's pretty large so I'm gonna scale it. Use the middle mouse button to pan and control middle mouse button to zoom. The image is pretty dark, so press Ctrl M to bring up Color Adjustment Curves Filter. It's under Filter Adjust if you're not using a shortcut. Use Freehand Selection Tool to go around the front leaf. I'm gonna copy and paste the selection into a new file. 1024 by 1024. You can right click to bring up the pop up palette and quickly select a brush you need. You can also switch back to the last brush by pressing the slash key. I'm just cleaning up the leaf. You should definitely give Krita a try, especially if you're not a heavy duty photo editor who uses all those fancy Photoshop tools. Photoshop is great, but it has so many features that I'll hardly ever use throughout the year and it can feel a bit heavy too. Blender has texture paint, but as you probably already know, it's not a painting program. Things like blending colors, watercolor brush, content aware fill, creating patterns etc. won't come easy with Blender. It's always nice to have a free painting program around that will suffice all those needs I'm sure. Shift backspace will fill the layer with foreground color. Make sure you don't have the eraser brush selected when you do. I've filled the layer with black to see if there are any white areas that need to be erased. Press Ctrl key to access the color picker and click to select the color you need. When you're done, delete unnecessary layers and crop the image. We'll save this as a PNG file. Now let's hop into Blender, we'll create the plant pot first. Shift A to add a single vert. Move it to the right and extrude. I'm gonna subdivide to shape the pot. You didn't forget hitting G twice for sliding, right? Add a screw modifier and flip normals. Control 2 to add a subsurf and apply the screw modifier. We'll close the bottom and inset. Add some supporting loop cuts.
Finally, add a solidify modifier and we're done. I'm going to add a plane for the soil. Press Ctrl 3 for a subsurf and scale. Add a displace modifier. Add a new texture and select clouds. Adjust strength. Now's the fun part, but before we get into it, you need to enable import images as planes add-in under Edit Preferences. Now if you press Shift A and look under Image you'll see Images as Planes option. Click it and choose the leaf file we cleaned up in Krita. Click the Material Preview button and voila! Wasn't that quick and easy? Go into edit mode and subdivide, click on the middle vertex at the bottom and press shift s to move the cursor to selected. Press period and choose 3D cursor. Let's scale the leaf and add more loop cuts to shape it better. Press Ctrl 2 in object mode for a subsurf. Press Shift D, then R to duplicate and rotate from top view. How many leaves to duplicate and how to shape them are all up to you from this point so enjoy making your own unique plant. Hope this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to support my channel, it really does motivate me to upload more videos. Thanks!